All right, so this oven quit working, the burners still work, and my mom said she heard a lot of pop from inside the oven, and this was uh, very similar to what happened to my oven earlier, and I did a different video on that, but I'm gonna try to replace the control board for hers, so I have the control board ordered, and I took a picture of the, the model number in there, which I'll put on the screen. Um, the This is the number for the the replacement part which I got at a local appliance parts place so let's try to dig in here and see if we can get this swapped out um, take off the knobs here first. way to take these off it's just a nut basically with two slots in it you just back those off. Looks like either that or they're just pushed on. One of the two. I think it's actually a nut though. Yeah, it's a nut. The threading's on the inside. This one's stiff, a little tough. Maybe I'll use a little helper on this one. See, the, now this panel just pops off. Ooh, it's kind of dirty. Oh kind of dirty. Ooh, boy. Okay. So, this this has a, a connection here, which we're going to take off just for the, the oven light. It's just a simple switch. Just wiggle them off. Control board sitting in here. It looks like there's two Phillips Phillips screws that hold it in place. Okay, so these two don't have any screws in them. Just the bottom two have have a Phillips screw in it. Here's the old, the old one. Everything is on connectors here, and uh, so what I'd like, what I like to do is, so I don't get the wires mixed up. I'm going to take a picture of it first, but secondly, I'm just going to move one wire at a time from the old unit to the new unit. big connector looks like it should just pop out if you kind of pull back on these two pieces so let me get a flat screwdriver to do that I'm just nudging it back a little bit Clean 
up here first before we reassemble. Okay, so in the meantime, I'll put these two screws back in. Okay, so the new, the new uh, cover or whatever, the overlay, I guess you'd call it, is peel and stick. So you gotta peel off, it's, a, it's basically a sticker. Make sure it's nice and lined up. It's very sticky, so we gotta kinda get it right the first time here. Make sure the clock's right in the center. the other way. It seems to be fit better that way. This is the way it was on. Alright, so let's move this out of the way. Now we're ready for the oh, this thing, yeah. yeah. I guess we could uh, try to test it prior to got a blinking 12 on there right. lights turning on so I think we're ready to test um, the, oven. the oven part which is what was not working so crank this down a little bit let's give her a shot here I'm gonna put it on bake well I want wants to set the clock I guess how do you put the clock what time is it 902 Okay, so clock set, bake, let's just put it at 350 here, I heard a click, a little fans going, yep, yep, starting to get pretty warm there. Top one isn't. Well, that's a broil. Yeah. So I don't think it comes on unless you put broil on. Okay. So definitely it's getting, the bottom element's getting hot. I'm going to, I'm going to clear that, or I guess yeah. clear off. Yeah. That turns off the, let me put on broil. Make sure that works. Heard a 
click. I'm not touching the coil, I'm just putting my hand there to feel if it gets warm. Yep, it's warming up, starting to feel it. Yep. Yep. That's good. Alright, so turn that off. Had it clear off. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, it looks like it's working. I, you know, we can crank it way up if you want to crank yeah. it way up. But um, the other thing, um, if there was a problem with the element, you could we could take out the element and test continuity. You know, but it's obviously heating up, mm -hmm. so that's that wasn't that, that, that was issue. The problem. Yeah, it was the control thing, so good to go. All right. So we're gonna look inside here of the old control module. See if we. This all looks good from this standpoint. I mean, I don't see any black marks. So let's look inside this thing. Okay. So I popped it free, and if oh yeah. So if you see right here. We have a huge burn mark, and on the, oh, so yeah. something totally blue, somewhere right here. Mm -hmm. I would think it would be in this component right here, so it's the bottom of this, whatever, it's probably a relay. So theoretically, you might be able to solder, unsolder that and replace the relay, but I wouldn't think it would be worthwhile. 